Hi, I'm Jeff, one of the owners at Planning Pod, and now we're going to take a look at how to give contacts access to your account so you can collaborate with them. This is done in the contacts area, so we're going to click on the main contacts tab. And you will use the same process to invite any contact into your account. That could be an employee, a coworker, staff members, clients, or anyone else you want to give access to your account. So first, we're going to add a new contact to give access to our account. And the minimum amount of information you need to provide is a first name, a last name, and an email address. And the email address is very important because uh, this person will be sent an email from our system inviting them into your account. And once we're done, we'll just click on the Save button. And now we're going to find the contact we just created Lindsay and then right here where it says planning pod account access is where we're going to provide them with access so we're going to click on the manage access link right here and next we're going to click on the access level drop down and here you can choose from four different access level groups for this particular contact you can assign them to the super admin admin employee or a client access group and in another video, we will show you how to adjust the settings for each of these groups. So I'm going to assign this contact to the employee access level group. And now I'm going to click on this checkbox to send the contact an email with instructions and a link so that they can set up their own username and password to get into the account. And once I hit the save button, that email is sent off. And here the system will tell you if this particular contact has activated their access or not. So now we have invited this contact into the account. However, for this contact to be able to access an event, you need to assign them to an event. So I'm going to click on the events tab and then I'm going to assign our new contact to this event right here. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click on the edit button And in the form here, I'm going to scroll down to the Assign Contacts area. I'm going to click in that field, and I'm going to select the new contact that we had just added. And once I hit the Save button, our new contact will be able not only to log in, but will also be able to access this event. And if you're creating a new event and want to assign contacts to that event so that they can log into the account, you would just click on add event and then in the assign contacts area select the contacts that you want to assign to the event so i am now going to log out of my account and i'm going to show you the process that that contact will take in creating their own username and password so here is the email that was sent out to the contact that we added to our account and here is the email with the, the invitation email with the link in it. And that contact would then click this link. And here's where they would create their unique username and password. And once they have done that, they just click on the complete setup button and now they can log into the account. So they will just enter their username and password that they just created. And once they sign in, they will get the introductory video. And here is their name, the top right hand corner. And if you click on the events tab, we will see that here is the event that we assigned them to. And in another video, we describe how you can change and manage access levels for the four user groups inside of your account. Thanks for watching and have a great day.